All right, you guys, starting out with the best of the entire store, the cement end cap. They have planters, bowls, all sorts of different cement restoration hardware dupes. So you have to run to Home Goods to see if you can find some for yourself. As you can see, I stacked a bunch in the cart. Next are dishes. They had an amazing selection of dishes and I love it because similar to Hobby Lobby, they section everything out. So as you can see, the gold section and then it gets into the rustic wood section, the white section, the beachy section, everything is just separated out so you can find exactly what you're looking for. Like these dishes that I have in my house and I paired them with the Magnolia Homes plain black dinner plates. So it's kind of a black and white vibe, but super beautiful zebra black and bone colored dishes. These are just some bowls that they had. And they had um, jars and pitchers and salt and pepper shakers, anything you need in that color combination they had. Super cute and very affordable. They called it Global Bohemian Collection. This is another Bohemian Collection set that they had, but it is much more rustic and more in the beige family tones, but I love that bamboo planter plate. Next is just the off-white bone color section. So if you're into that, just chic and simple, they have that as well as this beautiful local and organic wood. It's kind of like a wood and um, ceramic tray. So it's kind of got a combination of both. I love just the combination of ceramic and wood and it was $34.99. Next are the lamps. They didn't have a ton to choose from, but I did gravitate towards the cement restoration hardware dupe. Of course, the shade I would change 100%, but I love just the simplicity of it and it wasn't a bad price either, $34.99. Next are just some trays and odds and ends. They had some really cool wooden, this is a white wooden bowl that I found, just different wooden bowls, trays, vessels of every shape and size and color you can imagine. This one is a little bit on the expensive side, but as you can see, there were a ton to choose from. Literally any theme in your home, you can find something at, at home. Next are just a ton more, there you go, wooden bowls and trays. I have one very similar I got from Hobby Lobby, so I did not get this one because it would be a little bit redundant, but it was only 19 bucks, so super affordable. And then moving on to the vessels, they had this beautiful white one for 29 bucks. I ended up getting one and putting it in my bathroom, and I love it. They have some very restoration hardware-esque um, vibes going on. This one just had a really, really nice texture to it. Um, some of them were a little bit more on the rustic Magnolia Homes, you know, look per se, but some of them were definitely restoration hardware dupes. Some of them were like Z Gallery dupes. Some of them were, you know, just a little bit of dupes for everything. So if you're looking for something more inexpensive, look, there's some modern little vessels right there. Definitely check out at home because they have everything you're looking for. Lanterns, a ton of lanterns, 34 bucks, very similar to the ones you would see at like a Home Goods. Um, as you can see, a ton of black ones there on the right hand side, and then there's some glassware right there, and then a huge section of just vases and kind of gold uh, looking vases as well. This is super cute. I don't know what you would put inside this, but it was only 12 bucks. I just love the wrought iron and gray wash color combination. And then over here, I found a little gem. This was a huge like plate that you would put any sort of, I guess, serving ware. And I just loved the look of it. It was like a wooden combination plate. Here's another bowl that I found. I always gravitate towards that. That reminds me of the one that's on my dining room table from West Elm, um, 49 bucks. So in the same price range. So if you don't find that one that you like on my dining room table, here is a good alternative. I love this as well. Anything feather and leaf I'm always attracted to. It was kind of like a burnished gray black color and only 24 bucks. Here is the vessel I ended up getting. It just caught my eye. It was super modern and chic, and I love the texture on it. It has this nice porous texture, and it was only 17 bucks. So I ended up snagging that and putting that in my bathroom. 
And of course, at the end, I will go through my house and show you everything I got and how I placed it and styled it. Here is another uh, kind of like wooden raff in a section. And then I'm showing you that they put out all of the fall stuff. Here is the massive vessel section. And here are some artwork. There's some like geodes in some frames and then just a ton of different canvases. I mean, literally, if you can't find one here, it's a problem. They also have these little end caps where they do styling. They put little rooms together so you can get ideas. And then here's some more artwork. These are just kind of like wrought iron and wood, you know, frames and just pieces you can lean or hang anywhere in your house. And again, some more framed artwork. They have, like I said, anything from metal pieces to canvases to framed. And then they have a huge section of mirrors. I love this mirror, this Moroccan shape. I just think it's so beautiful. They have um, hanging mirrors, leaning mirrors, shaped mirrors, round mirrors, ones you can put in the bathroom like these. These are perfect. You just take the standard ones that come in the home off the wall and hang this up and you have a totally different look to kind of spruce up your bathroom so it doesn't look so generic. It makes it more original and of course, um, unique and spices it up if you're sick of the same old, same old. I love this ottoman. It was kind of a wooden tufted ottoman. And then here are the carpets, a massive, massive carpet selection. They have a mostly, I would say, um, five by seven, not a ton of eight by tens because that's really what I was looking for. I only found a couple. And then they also had just a Cecil rug section where just every one of those carpets, um, had that nice texture to it. Unfortunately, they were a little bit too small. Here are some headboards. I love this black one. It kind of reminds me of the restoration hardware one I found at the outlet. And here's a clearance section. Make sure you check the red and green tags, 25 and 50% off for everything marked. Um, this was just kind of going down the middle aisle of the store. Next is furniture. They had some beautiful accent chairs, as you can see here. Couches, chairs, dining room chairs, bar stools, anything you could want they have. The greenery section, amazing. I actually found out for the first time after going the other day, they have a ton of moss. Some were on clearance, some were in sheets. I mean, I literally scoured the earth and here the entire time they have it at, at home. So find an at home if you're doing a moss project. Here are some more accent chairs. You can use these for an office, dining room, kitchen, table, literally every color you could ever imagine. Just rows and rows and rows and rows and rows of them. There are some tufted ones, some blue velvet ones. They even had dining room tables, 329 bucks. And then they were kind of um, getting rid of the summer patio furniture. So kind of phasing that out. Moving on to the candle project. This was an absolute labor of love. I took these candles that were just old and I had them in you know, storage and I cut them down. I don't know why, if anyone knows, please leave a comment down below. When I got the outside rim off, as you can see, the inside is a totally different texture. It's like a powder almost. So if anyone knows what that is, if that's normal or not, I would love to know. I put it like a double boiler and a metal pan on top of the stove. And the great thing about it is you don't have to stand there and consistently stir it. You can literally set the chunks in there, let it go, come back to it, and it will be perfectly melted and ready to go. So I got my vessel ready, which was one of those cement bowls that they had. I ended up picking up a couple of them and I'm just going to store one of them away and then I'm going to make a candle with the other one. So I'm just leaving it on a medium heat. I've got my vessel ready. As you can see, I tested it in the bottom, put with electrical tape, I know, so clever, <laughs> my wicks so they stood up straight and I used my rolling pin to keep them steady. Then you just take the melted candle wax, you pour it in and you can put your essential oils, any sort of oils you want if they are not um, scented and then you just let it dry. And as you can see, this is about the halfway point where it gets a little bit hazy and just making sure that everything is placed the way that you want because once it sets, those wicks are not going to move at all. 
and here is the final product thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always i will link everything in the description box down below please do not forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and hit that post notification bell so you guys can be notified for every video that i upload and i will also upload a video very soon showing you how i styled everything that i got in these hauls